What's up, YouTube? This is Star Wolf. Look, before you subscribe, before you hit that like button and all that, make sure. Look, let's get let's get one thing straight. I ain't been on here talking, blogging because of my mouth. I went to the dentist, right? The dentist cut me in the wrong spot. The dentist cut me like on the roof of my mouth. Yeah. And, he, and, and, and didn't stitch it up. I bled for like almost six hours. Had to go to the emergency room. Had to call a plastic surgeon. Of course I'm suing. Of course I'm about to get paid. But anyway, that's why I ain't been on here now. Let's get to it. Y'all talking about... Me and Wax supposed to get down or got down or however y'all say it. Man, look, check it out. First of all, first of all, I don't have no problems with nobody. I don't have no beef with nobody. I'm not getting down with nobody. If you run up on me, that's just what it is. Just be prepared for the consequences. It's funny how people sit back, start rumors. Me and Wag, we chopped it up on the phone. We talked. We conversated. We conversated about Big U. We conversated about the grid program. That's what that's that's what we conversated about. And nothing and nothing and nothing else. So, for people to say Wack 100 is mad at me because of some things I said or some things I did or whatever, and I was supposed to meet up with him or I met up with him or however the story go. See, people put some rumors out about me not too long ago, me getting socked out or me, me, me getting beat up or whatever at the beach in Santa Monica. Come on. Ain't nobody socking me out. I ain't allowing nobody to sock me. I'm not gonna permit you to do that to me. You're not, you're not about to violate me. Especially without me violating you back. No, I didn't meet up with Wack. No. Ain't nobody sock me out. He ain't had nobody sock me out. No, I haven't had any squabbles with anybody. Man, I've been just, I've just been on me. I've been really just focusing on me. I've been focusing on me and stacking, stacking and stacking and steadily formulating plans and putting things together in perspective. That's what I've been doing. Handling business, sitting back, looking at the marks, looking at the haters, looking at the busters, looking at the fakes and the phonies. And then people got it in their mind where they could just, look, I'm one of the ones, one of the top ones. I ain't gonna even say top five, I'm gonna put myself in the top one. Yeah, you ain't never heard nobody do that one, huh? I'm in the top one when it comes to this Nipsey. I don't care how many bloggers blog every day about Nipsey. Cool. I don't care about that. I don't care who 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 blog, who put videos out every day or whatever. That's cool. Not downing you or nothing. But I'm the top one. When I come out, I come out with the fire info. And I got fire info right now. But people want me to do things on their time for their entertainment, talking about how, uh, how, uh, I haven't been riding for Nipsey because when the trial was going on, I wasn't riding or nothing like that. Because you want to hear me speak about something. Nah, I didn't speak about nothing because, look, check it out. 
I kind of got like burnt out on it. Like it's self-explanatory of what's going on. I've been telling y'all since day one what's been going on. It's self-evident. If you don't know what's going on, you don't know who the who the material players is within this within this foul, wicked orchestration. Come on now. I don't care about all this gimmicky, all this doing the interviews and everybody trying to get their name out there because everybody has ulterior motives. They didn't care about Nipsey. Hell, I didn't even care about Nipsey 100%. See, I ride for all black people. People talking about you faking because you ain't riding. Man, I've been riding, but I'm not going to ride how you think I should ride. And I've been side by side, frontlining with real activists while incarcerated and on these streets. Nipsey was no better. I see me. I'm gonna speak the real. See, I don't speak from a fan's point of view. I don't speak from a fan's point of view. I don't speak, I, 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 I speak from the heart. I don't bite my tongue about anything. And it is what it is. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Nipsey, Nipsey was silent in certain aspects of his life. Just like there's many of us that's been solid in certain aspects of our life, and we've all had shortcomings. He gang bang. He didn't measure up to be 100%. Nobody has. Nobody is perfect. Malcolm X wasn't perfect. Martin Luther King wasn't perfect. Marcus Garvey. Eldridge Cleaver. None of these brothers was perfect. Until a certain point in their lives. And I can speak on that. See, I don't have to like a person like you like them. I like them like I like them. And I see because we all looking through different uh, microscopes. My perspective and my views on somebody is going to be different from yours. 10 times out of 10 is probably going to be realer than yours. To be honest, y'all scared to speak on the government. Y'all scared to speak on stuff because when you start speaking, you're going to get your channel knocked down. You ain't going to be monetized and make no money. You ain't going you ain't going to go through the trials and tribulations that a real one has to go through. You're not going to suffer. You're not going to blood, sweat, and tears. You ain't, you ain't willing to do all that, so don't tell me. And then you're sitting on the, the sidelines. You're on the outside trying to peer through. You're trying to peer through the blinds. But you don't know it's something covering up the blinds. And yeah, I really do that. I really do cover up the blinds. So I'm really, really speaking some real. You're not going to be able to see in. Yeah. Spiritually or mentally. Or physically. Most of y'all can't see me. Most of y'all can't even see y'all self. From a day-to-day -day basis. Most of y'all sleepwalking and sleep talking, y'all zombies. Quit lying. Quit making up stuff. I ain't got no beef with nobody out here. And if somebody got beef with me, you know what I'm saying? Then, uh, yeah, energy directed back towards you. I don't fear nobody, but I'm cautious. Yeah.
And ain't nobody knock me out. Ain't nobody whoop me. Ain't nobody sock me out. I ain't been mopped up. So, all the whack 100, all, all that type of talk, y'all need, to, y'all need to cease with the lies, cease with the rumors. Got my, got the side of my tongue hurting, the roof of my mouth hurting again. Can't even talk right, but it's all good. It's all good. And I'm still saying what I said before. And the people that I felt is guilty is guilty. And that's just what it is. And I don't care who like it. That's just what it is. The government going to keep doing what they doing. Because black people going to keep doing what they doing. (laughs) Yeah. Did Nipsey inspire you? Good. That's a blessing. I've been inspired by my daddy. I was inspired by Matulu Shakur. I was inspired by Hannibal. I was inspired by my uncles from when I was five, six years old. When I came out the womb, I seen real. This ain't nothing new. Y'all keep pushing, pulling, tug of war. Come on. And yeah, it's a foul situation. The situation that happened with Snoopy Blue. That's how homeboys do you. That's how they do you. And I'm going to speak on that and I'm going to say this right now. I don't care who get mad. He didn't snitch. What he did wasn't telling. Just like Snoopy Badass said. It's a gang of bloggers, gang of people on the internet that's actually telling, but ain't nobody calling them snitches and doing nothing to them. I got shot. The detectives, the detective tried to talk to me. See, that's one of their tactics. When you get shot, they try to talk to you. When you in the hospital, laid up, heavily sedated, and medicated because that medication you you will speak you're unconscious you don't know what you're saying and not saying that you won't tell them the truth because you very well can tell them the truth about something but that's one of the tactics they pull so they can get you so they can uh Obtain information from you. But Snoopy Blue didn't tell. He didn't tell. And like I said, they tried to do that to me. The detectives tried to do that to me. And it was in the paperwork. Nope. He wouldn't even respond. I wouldn't even respond up under the medication. Detective got mad at me. It's a female detective and told me straight up, I'm finna close this case. It don't matter who shot you. I know it don't matter who shot me, bitch. You don't care. You don't know me. Fuck you. Close the case because I ain't talking to you. I'm not telling you anything. So get the fuck on. So what? Bitch, the damage been done. I've been shot. You can't take that back. Shit. Bitch, you can't turn back the hands of time. Bitch, you don't have the power to get life. Get your devil ass up out of here. Anyway. That shit got me mad all over again. But, yeah. I'm finna get up out of here, though. You know, I just had to come put this out here real quick. That's how I do Stick and move. They probably take this video down. You know. But uh, yeah, I'm Star Wolf. Make sure you subscribe. And I ain't finna sit here and tell you I'm finna make videos every, every, every day. 
But when I do, you better listen because it be some real shit. I'll be spitting that real. But anyway, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button, that notification bell, so you can get keep getting these videos when they when they drop. Peace.